So here we are on a property down in, in Marathon, uh, in the Middle Keys, where we're actually uh, looking at about 500 plus coconut trees. Um, it's on the, on the ocean. And uh, we've come down here to look at what they suspected was a disease issue, but really what we're seeing is the aftermath of the uh, abnormally cold winter we experienced um, this past winter. And um, so we're already in June and we're still seeing extensive damage um, from, the, from the cold. And here you can see a, a palm that's, that's pretty much struggling. And one of the things I want to point out is that typically after cold weather, uh, these palms are stressed and they become more susceptible to bud rot pathogens and, and primary bud rot pathogens like Phytophthora palmivora, but also uh, we're seeing a lot of opportunistic type bacteria that are getting into the crown, down into the bud of these trees. And when that bacteria population builds up, it can cause damage uh, because these trees are definitely uh, weak uh, as a result of the, the, the stress brought on by the cold weather. And another thing, so typically, um, besides the, uh, the bud rot, what we're seeing is that the, uh, a third to one fourth of the, the canopy, a lot of times some of the, the middle aged fronds are actually starting to show wilt like symptoms. And so it's not a, not a typical bud rot. And uh, this wilt like symptom is, is basically associated with, uh, with trunk damage. And some of these palms, what, what you'll see is a reddish type of discoloration um, on the trunk and when you push against the the tissue it's actually got a soft um, texture and this so this this uh, trunk is is basically internally rotting um, as a result of the uh, cold damage this is not a disease this is again is, is cold damage and and basically what the, the approach we have to take is is patience. Um, we're, we're well into uh, June. We've got hot, warm weather right now. And what we're hoping for is with the continued warm, um, favorable growing conditions for coconut palms, we're going to see these trees uh, fully recover. Uh, but again, it's going to take it's going to take a lot of time and patience, um, proper nutrition, and uh, in cases where there appears to be uh, uh, bud rot issues, um, bud drenches with a copper-based fungicide um, is probably a, a really good approach because the copper is going to have some efficacy against the bacterial um, uh, opportunistic. Uh, uh, bacteria that are getting into the the bud of the palms and now take a take a look out as you can see all the different uh, coconut trees they've also got a lot of diversity different different uh, types of coconuts um, grown here on the property again we're looking at about 500 and one uh, one other interesting point to make is that there's a mixed planting here of coconuts that were brought in from a local nursery versus some that were homegrown and it, and it appears when you look at the homegrown coconuts uh, they're much better off um, and uh, they weathered the cold conditions much better than the the palms that were actually transplanted in 2009. Uh, full-grown coconuts that were transplanted in 2009. So there's probably still some um, uh, some stress as a result of the, the transplant and then of course the double whammy with the cold weather and that's why we're, we're seeing those differences.